Phenomenal and ambitious, two words that have been turned into female empowerment brands for women of all experiences by a woman with a fascinating background who encourages all of us to be unapologetically ourselves. She is a Harvard-educated lawyer, entrepreneur, a children's book author, and the niece of our new Vice President Kamala Harris. That woman is Mina Harris, who joins us now. Mina, thanks so much for coming on the show tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So before we talk about your book, I want to go back to exactly one week ago today when you sat on the stage at the Capitol, watched your aunt, a woman of Jamaican and Southeast Asian descent, being sworn in as Madam Vice President. It was momentous, certainly, for the entire country. But what did it mean and feel like for you personally? Gosh, well, thanks for the reminder. I actually, I think I just <laughs> tweeted this today that I can't believe it was just a week ago, exactly a week ago today. And I mean, it still feels surreal. Um, watching it, you know, there in person um, was uh, extraordinary. And I, it obviously has a lot of deep personal meaning to me, but, you know, I'm experiencing what you are, what women and families and girls and children and everybody all across the world is, which is, my God, we just elected the first female vice president in U.S. history. Right. And I figured even more momentous than for yourself, it was your little girls and, and them feeling and, and being seen. Just want to read a page here. No to that or to this will stop uh, what's inside us from flowering. From now on, when I hear to that or to this, I won't mind. It's empowering. Of course, that is a little excerpt from your latest book, Ambitious Girl. It is a powerful and sweet book about a little girl's journey after she sees a strong woman on TV labeled as too assertive and too ambitious. Tell us about the importance of making sure that young girls have books like this, have these kinds of examples with characters who look like them, with messages like this available to them. It is so important. We know that representation, you know, back to what we just talked about, right? Representation matters. Seeing possibility and opportunity matters. And that goes to the point that uh, you can't be what you can't see, right? And I, becoming a new parent, was realizing, you know, firsthand reading books with my, especially now older daughter, where, you know, we had a lot of the classics and they're wonderful pieces of children's literature. But at a certain point, I started asking, like, where are the girl characters? Where are the black children, right? Where um, are families that look like ours and and at the same time seeing not only that you know you can't be what you can't see but that she what she sees she wants to be and she's now been going around for the last two years saying that she wants to be a president and an astronaut when she grows up and that is because she had a family member running for president and because she read a children's book about Mae Jemison. This stuff is not just good and important for my black daughters to see themselves represented on the pages of books. It's good for all of us, right? This is the whole point about seeing a woman in this position of power and leadership on a national stage and all of us need to see that. All of us need to believe in it and I, my hope is that, you know, um, white families, boys read these books that have black girls as main characters and aspire to their, you know, visions of the world, their leadership, their stories. And you raise a good point that a lot of people are going to see the books and see that they have girls as central characters and they're going to assume that these books are for girls. But it's very important for boys to see early on uh, young girls um, in this kind of capacity. And I write children's books as well. It was important to me to have my son see children of color in the books that he reads. There's a lot of research which supports just how important that is for identity and for self-worth. So you have brought all of this together to start Phenomenal, a female-powered lifestyle brand that brings awareness to social causes. Tell us about that and, and the Phenomenal products that, that we may be already familiar with. Yes, I'm actually, I'm wearing my, per my last email sweatshirt today. Um, it's really, you know, it's, people have asked me sort of uh, launching that and becoming a kid's book author and sort of, you know, is there a connection or was that expected? And uh, while I talk about becoming an author is really an accidental thing, it was sort of not on my bucket list of all of my ambitions and things that I wanted to achieve in the world. And it, it surprisingly was not on my list, but I make the point that it's, it's similar in that it's about storytelling. It's about, um, you know, raising awareness it's about having conversations and um, pushing, you know, dialogue around issues that for us with that phenomenal are really about centering underrepresented communities with a specific emphasis on women of color and doing that in every 
you know, way possible on every platform possible. So the kids' books are, are one example. Others, you know, sometimes it's through apparel, um, it's through content, it's through community. One of the first issues that we were very, very active on was um, equal pay and specifically making the point that women of color um, experience pay inequity uh, differently than white women, right? And it's a conversation that I, I'm happy to see, I think has gained a lot more sort of mainstream, you know, engagement. But three to five years ago, you know, when we really started doing this work, a lot of people, for example, didn't even know what Equal Pay Day stood for, that, you know, it's not a celebration. It is, um, it's not Happy Equal Pay Day. It is a recognition of how much further into the next year that women have to work to catch up. I could talk to you for hours. Mina Harris, thank you so much. Author of Ambitious Girl, available now in bookstores, wherever books are sold. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.